Redditors who have hired a private investigator, what did you find out? My mother's dad walked out on mom, my aunt, and my grandmother when mom was just five. A few years later, my grandmother died of a grand mal seizure. Mom was taken in by her grandparents, but she always wondered why her dad left and what became of him. In her 40s, she saved up a bit and hired a pie to track him down. Turns out he moved over time from Pittsburgh to California where he wound up in prison for armed robbery and so e other violent crimes. He died in San Quentin Penitentiary. I think mom got a lot of closure out of that. She was able to see that life would have most likely been even worse had he stayed. At least living with her grandparents, she was loved and raised to fulfill her potential. My grandmother's first boyfriend after my grandfather died said he was a retired cop and a veteran. They enjoyed dancing to country music together, and bought a new car, in her name though, even though she can't drive anymore. My uncles hired a pie. Turns out, that old bastard had a habit of shacking up with widows and bleeding them dry. The boyfriend not the pie. Not me but my friend, also a lawyer like myself, was handling a contested will. Normally, very very straightforward. Anyway, woman in her mid-thirties husband just died. He was in his late seventies or early eighties, can't remember. Still nothing fishy because hey, nothing wrong with an adult transaction where a very good-looking young woman sleeps with a rich old man in exchange for the use of his credit cards. Here's where it gets slightly concerning. Two months before his death, he rewrote his will and left everything to her instead of his five kids. Around 35 meters in cash and assets. And then it gets downright thriller movie-ish, turns out, the woman is a five-time widow. Now you may be saying, sure, that could just be the unluckiest, most pitiful widow in the world, but it gets even fishier. In all five of her marriages, the wills were rewritten just months before their deaths, and every cause of death was natural causes despite not all of them being as old as the latest husband, and toxicology tests were not carried out during any of the five autopsies. But wait. Therese Moore. It turned out that the widow was never home during any of the deaths, yet insisted the autopsies were carried out at the same institute. But wait, still more. Widow is also distantly related to one of the higher-ups at the institute. Well. What happened after? They're still contesting. A lot of cases got put on hold due to COVID, massive backlogs in court. Therese been a few added developments here and there but Therese been a lot of underhanded tactics by both sides in the meantime. Edit, just remember that a little more drama is happening. The lawyer who drafted both the old as well as the new will is being called as a witness. Depending on Cross, there may be grounds for him losing his license. I mean it all sounds suspiciously like she's being a black widow here how is law enforcement not looking into this? I think. It's going to end up as one of those cases where sure, everybody knows she's a black widow, but too difficult to actually prove in court. I'm interested to see how this carries on. Law enforcement here's a bit of a joke. That sounds extremely messed up, she probably caused five men to die. I really hope she ends up in jail and doesn't hurt anybody else. Assuming that all five bodies are already buried and partially to fully decomposed, would there be no way to see whether they died by poison or something? Too many factors seem fishy in that story for her not to be guilty of something. I don't know. I've never done an actual murder case, just a few manslaughter cases, so I'm not familiar with the medical procedure for evidence for an actual murder. My sister, mid-thirties, is adopted and hired one to find her estranged biological father. They came back saying that not only was he still alive and nearby, but he had a daughter. Meaning she also had a biological sibling. Further digging from the pie uncovered that they weren't just similar ages either, they were exactly the same age. The evidence suggested that my sister had a twin and her birth father had taken the twin and vanished. Huge, life-changing news. Eventually, through more incredible detective work, the pie realized that the daughter was actually just my sister. There was no other sibling and they had just been investigating my sister the whole time accidentally. Needless to say, we asked for the money back. TL, doctor? Sister hired a private investigator, private investigator accidentally investigated sister. Well, did you get the money back? I think we got some of it back, yeah. To be fair to the pie, they did find the guy with very little to go on, before the farce started. To be more fair though, a few years later I found him again, myself, after an hour on the internet. I bet the internet and social media has killed the pie industry. Almost everybody has some kind of online presence, 
Criminal activity can often be found online depending on where you they live, etc. But there must be some stuff that you can online find with a pie? Right? Not a pie myself but I'm in a similar line of work. Pies would indeed have access to professional services that the public wouldn't have access to. For instance, tools that allow you to trace addresses and confirm dates of residence, phone numbers, email addresses etc. Edit, getting a few comments about finding the same stuff via Google. Just to clarify, the difference is in verifying the stuff you find, which is where these paid services allow for additional checks, financial, current insurance presence, cohabitants, names on the property deeds etc., and attributing levels of accuracy because you're often going into most searches totally cold, for example, trying to locate a subject with a common name in a big city, it's not the same as looking up yourself on Google and your details being the first stuff that comes up, thanks to Google's algorithm. My parents hired a private investigator to find out who my online BF was when I was 13. The pie came back and told us he was just a fat ass 13 yo. LMFAO. When I was 14 my parents suspected that the woman I was talking to was much older than she said. I'd spoken to her brother and sister so I was confident she was who she said she was. I became friends with her older brother. I wish my parents had hired a pie based on their suspicions. Her older brother was her son, her sister her daughter. The pictures she sent me were of her daughter. I was in my 20s before I found out. What the duck? I found out after googling her. She was dead. I sent a really angry message to her son. I don't fault her daughter, she was young. Quinton knew exactly how old I was, he wrote an essay on Hamlet for me while I was in high school. He was college-aged and should have known how ducked up what was going on was. I wasted so much time talking to a pedophile, never mind the things that make my skin crawl. Hadn't heard from my mom since I was about 15, very unstable due to drugs and alcohol etc., when I was 29 I decided it was time to find out what happened to her. I figured if she was a Jane Doe somewhere then I could put her to rest, and if she was alive then I wanted to let her know that I forgave her. Hired a pie to help. I guess she was moved by my story and so she also ran info for the man my mother was apparently married to, on the house, and with one clue from his report I was able to track them down. I wouldn't have found my mom, alive and was just starting out on recovery after being homeless and addicted for many many years, if it wasn't for the pie who kindly ran an extra report for free. Mom has remained sober now for about 7 years and is probably the healthiest she's ever been, physically and emotionally. So happy it got better for both of you. I was a private investigator for a little bit. Most work piece do is searching financial court records and serving documents. But one time I was paid by wealthy parents to stake out their college senior who had stopped returning their calls. They were worried about her. These parents paid like $40,000 for round-the-clock monitoring just to find out their daughter dropped out of school and was a full-time ski bum. BTW stakeouts are mostly just sitting in your car reading all day. I have always wondered, how do you pee discreetly on a stakeout? Edit, I'm a guy. I've pissed into bottles before. I'm wondering about the discreetly part. How do you do it so it isn't obvious to people walking by on the street? I would like to know the answer to this. I'd also like to know, if you're reading in your car, how do you make sure you don't miss something happening? Like I imagine glancing up every so often, but what if the person you're investigating moves while you're not glancing up? I'd assume you'd park close enough to hear when the left the building or something? And I doubt he was invested in the reading. It's more just having something to occupy your time while you wait. Oh man I'd make a lousy pie if I read in my car, I get way too focused. I'd start reading and look up to see it 6 hours later and the suspect is long gone. I know somebody who was like an assistant to the actual pie. She basically went to bingo with a camera in her purse to capture video of a woman. The woman claimed that a car accident had completely immobilized her. But she would take off the neck brace all the time, playing bingo hours on end. Nothing exciting, just capturing fraud. Wait. She took it off. To play bingo? Yeah man you've never played hardcore bingo? I had a girlfriend that worked for one for a while. She said that the majority of their work was insurance scams. She took a lot of pictures of guys who said they were hurt on the job playing golf and surfing and such. There seems to be a lot of that in this thread. 
Sometimes I wonder if I'd be able to pull off such a scam because any investigator would only be able to determine that after the accident I didn't post my life on social media and I almost never engaged in strenuous activity outside the house. So no change there then.